Richard Ng back here once again, gonna be with you and today we're gonna be checking out something called the Trigger or also known as the Trigger. I'd like to think it's more like a you know games console kind of joystick if you ask me. Anyway, it's got a great unique shape for a mod for sure and at first initially when I first opened it up I thought it was gonna be awkward to hold it and all but hey you know it's quite user friendly it's very nice in your hands and all this is their latest version where they've maintained the same design and shape of it they've had a previous version before but this comes with a lot of new upgrades to it so that's why we're going to be checking out the target pro starter kit by vaporesso This has just gotten even better with their temperature control now to accommodate for nickel, titanium, stainless steel and also TCR in temperature control mode. Capable for self-customization just like how Evolve has with their uh, what do you call 200 watt devices or the 74 5 watt devices. Self-customization where you can download their software from Vaporesso's website. I'm going to leave a link below for you. And also needless to say that means the charge port also allows for firmware upgrade if there are any in the future. Easy to use settings, very, very simple. I mean, there's no menu there. All you gotta do is just click, 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 and you get to what you want. Especially for new vapors who's been vaping for a while, you wanna try out and, or rather going into temperature control, different wires, nickel, titanium, nano steel, and all that. You wanna learn how to set your TCR values, you wanna do self-customization. I would highly recommend this. Very easy to use, okay? It takes in a single 18650 battery, fires down to 0.15 ohms in wattage mode and 0.05 in temperature control. However, the real star attraction is this little guy here, 24 karat gold plated C cell, that's what they call it. These stock coils are made from ceramic. It's completely wickless and uh, this is to give you pure taste of your e-juice. The technology actually took them about two years from what I found out to develop. The coil is actually embedded inside, it, you can't see the coil, it's embedded inside the ceramic itself. And the only thing you'll probably uh, get is this cotton that's going around the ceramic, where what it does is juice goes through your juice holes and it sucks up your juice and feeds the ceramic evenly for even distribution of your e-juice for vaporization that's what it does tell you what let's go take a quick look at how they make this coil how they came up with the idea uh, with this short video clip that I got from Vaporesso and then come back we'll talk some more So talk about being innovative, these guys, quite excellent idea, okay? Tank size for this tank that comes with the starter kit is 22 millimeters in diameter by 53.5 millimeters in height. And the tank holds 2.5 ml in capacity. Last but not least, uh, top fill method claims to be you know, leak resistant. So far, it's been working great for me. I tell you what, let's dive in right now. Check out the Trigger starter kit, or rather the Target Pro starter kit by Vaporesso, the mod and the tank itself. Come back, we'll vape on it. We'll vape on the uh, stock coil here, which is a stainless steel stock coil rated at 0.5 ohm. They gave us two, one is 0.5, the other one is 0.6. Both are stainless steel. And then I'm gonna leave you with my two cents worth before we wrap things up. So I'll see you in a bit. 
The Target Pro Starter Kit by Vaporesso, the packaging that comes in in a white box like that with a picture of the device right here, Vaporesso logo. At the side, it's got a little tug ribbon for you to pull out the box. And of course, underneath there, you've got your Facebook page, Vaporesso, contents of the package, warning notes here, management system, Vesmo factory has been assessed and registered their ISO certifications. And also here it says design in California assembled by Esmore in China. At least that's what I think it's pronounced as Esmore or S'more. The barcode right here it says firmware upgradable, C cell coil inside, and that's about it. Vapor as a logo on this side, Target Pro, pull, and the box comes out. Also another white box right here. Target Pro starter kit, open up the box, bam, and there you go. You've got the uh, mod right here, which is in a very unique shape. Also comes with a tank as well. Doesn't come with an RBA section, but it's got two coils. One is 0.5, which is in the tank itself, stainless steel coil, and this one, which is also another stainless coil, and in 24K gold plated. This is the C cell coil rated at 0.6 ohms. We'll come to that shortly. On the left hand side, you've got this little flap here. Open up the best, just gets better. And on the right side, open up a door, and you have your USB charge cable where you can use it to do your firmware upgrade and also self customization where you can download the software from their website. On the left hand side, you've got this little envelope, more envelopes to open up. And in there, you'll find your Target Pro Quake Guide right here. And it shows you all you need to know about the device, contents of the package and everything. Just a little quick guide here, like the instruction guide. All right here, temperature control and so forth. Vapor so warranty card. And it's got two warranty cards. So one is for your tank and one is probably for your mod. And you've got more cards here showing you how coil is made from ceramic coil and also the cotton which is on the outside to distribute your e-juice evenly on the ceramic. Warning notes, that's about it. So this is your spare coil right here. I'm just gonna bring it closer to you. You can see that tab like that. They sell the spare coils in a pack of fives and opening up. That's your coil there, exactly the same thing as you've seen in the video, and those are your juice holes, and that's cotton right out there. And once it's soaked in with e-juice, it'll distribute evenly throughout your ceramic coil inside, and coil is actually embedded into the ceramic itself, so you won't be seeing the coil. Underneath is your air hole, air goes from here into the center. There are two separate designs actually with the uh, tank as well. I'm going to take out the tank and show you. So this is the tank. We're going to just zoom in closer. So it says Vaporesso tank here and you've got your drip tip. Apparently it's a lot shorter than what it was before with the previous tank. It was much much longer so it's got a nice little drip tip right now. Held on by two o-rings. Underneath it says Target Pro designed and manufactured by Vaporesso. And you've got a gold plated, if not a brass pin, right in the middle there. Your juice holes in there, and it's adjustable. You can close and open your juice holes. Close, and you can open back the juice holes again. Your airflow control is adjustable, Cyclops air style. And you, once you've opened up the base, that's your coil there. But just before that, let me show you the top fuel section. Remove the top. And you've got a fill port there. Two big fill ports just to go in air to come out. See, this has got a different juice flow compared to this one. This one's in circle. This one is like a honeycomb. This goes straight direct to your cotton, and this one will seep in and slowly go into your cotton, which is on the inside of another casing. So they're both somewhat different. This is a red o-ring and this is a black o-ring. But they're both stainless steel coil. This is 0.6 and this is 0.5 ohms. Is actually printed over here. It's a stainless steel on the top there. 
and the voltage recommendation 20 to 40 watts this is a 0.5 ohm and this is your 0.6 ohm coil which is also stainless steel right on top there it's printed it's a very small print and I'm going to use this one that came with the tank so all you got to do this is the base of it you can see your contact inside of the air hole tighten it down close the air hole it'll automatically close the air hole once you turn it okay and that's your tank there and what we're going to be using today is one of my personal favorites which I just got recently Anne's Brew and she threw in a bottle of strawberry V custard which is brewed locally by Anne herself name of the brew is Anne so it's Anne's Brew this is my favorite green tea special this is 12 mg nick level product is strictly for 18 years and above comes with uh, child safety cap nice bottle labeling so all you got to do is just fill it up it's got a, it's a very slight hint of menthol in there so that's Anne's brew for you I think it's about 40 to 50 ringgit or something like that for a 30 ml bottle you can check them online I'll leave a link for you that's vapor so tank here and let's take a look at the target mod right now this is a target mod very very nice very unique in shape exactly like the you know the one they had before these are your battery ventils this is actually a screw to screw down this section onto your mod and that is your battery vent hole as well target pro that's what it says that's your firing button nice and clicky so when you're holding it, it feels good in your hands well, that's your 510 on top air channels right up till here for atomizers that require bottom air feed and how you replace your battery would be to just take this out the magnets are very strong see to put it back just like that hold it down that's the inside positive here clearly marked negative right down there and you've got a positive just fit it in. It says Vaporesso onto the main display. And put this back. And this charge port also allows you to do your firmware upgrade, just to let you know. And self customization where you have the cable for you to attach to your computer. On off, five clicks one, two, three, four, five. And it says system off. Five clicks to turn it on one, two, three, four, five. Vaporizer again. Flips the screen three clicks, one, two, three, and it flips the other way around. One, two, three, flip it right back up again. Power lock, fire button, and the up button, the plus button together, hold it. System locked. So you can still fire it, but you can't change. The wattage. Uh, to go into temperature control, all you got to do is just press the plus and the minus button together and what it does is it'll switch and it'll show you nickel. Can you see nickel? Let it go. That's 330 degrees Fahrenheit. Goes all the way up to 600 and click it again. It goes into Celsius all the way up to 300 degrees from 100. 315 click it again it rolls back into Fahrenheit again so to lock my resistance all I got to do is just hold the fire button and the down button together hold it and it's turned into a lock you've locked your resistance at 9.99 to unlock it click it again okay, once you screw it down it'll ask you new load or load 0.47 so it's a 0.5 ohm coil in there somewhere around there and you fire it beautiful right so as you can see it works temperature is going up
stainless steel and I have an option to choose go into hold it down titanium hold it down again TCR value you can do these uh, value settings from your self customization the software and back to watts again and since we are on stainless steel we'll set it back to stainless steel it takes a while for it to change right so now we are in stainless steel again basically just that and we'll go back top side with the target pro we'll vape on it we'll talk some more something i forgot to mention to you the scroll mode for this on wattage you know from 5 to 75 it goes in a zip like that within seconds you get straight to 75 so to adjust it if you want it at 35 you're going to bring it down to maybe 40 or you know 25 somewhere around there and then click it once at a time until you get 35 otherwise you'll just go past it or go under it very fast in a zip as i mentioned so the scroll mode that could be a con or not. for once you know we want it slower so that's the thing the target pro trigger mod otherwise it's unique shape i love it it feels good in the hands like i said i thought it was going to be awkward to hold but no nice either way flip it around you can use your thumb to fire it or use your index finger to fire it it still feels very very comfortable this is my first target mod and it's really nice thank you vaporizer for sending it my way this is the target pro which is an improved upgraded version so now it's compatible with uh, nickel titanium stainless steel tcr value for you to do self customization like i said i'm going to leave a link below you can go to vapor Wrestle's website to do self customization i think it only works on windows so it's absolutely a great mod okay especially if you are going from as a new vapor going trying out temperature control I would highly recommend this no questions asked very easy to do the settings there's no menu you just click 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 it'll get you to whether you want it in stainless steel either one of the wires it works great with titanium um, the coil in there no problem at all nice firing no leg time hit and it goes There you go. Very well built, made out of stainless steel and zinc alloy. Lovely. Even for the tank itself, I have really no complaints except for one con. The glass section cannot be broken down. Um, I mean, you can't take it out and wash it and clean it. So if you were to drop the tank and if the glass breaks, I'm sorry, but I think you have to buy a new tank altogether. That is a big downer for me. Other than that, it looks great. Nice compact size, 2.5 ml. I'm fine with it. And the top side of the uh, tank, it's rounded. It goes down like that. And I think it's got a very, very nice shape to it. The drip tip is small and tiny. It's not, you know, one of those long drip tips. I think that's out of fashion already, but uh, I like the short ones better. Good amount of airflow on the tank and it works great with their C-cell coils. No questions asked. Really good. Fantastic vapor production as you've seen and the flavor is just nothing short of awesome. So price wise, I think this in the US is going for around 60 to 70 US dollars if I'm not wrong for the whole entire set in Malaysia. I've seen the Target mod being sold on Facebook pages but I've not seen the Target Pro yet. I am pretty sure this is going to arrive on our shores. This is really a good setup. <laughs> The coils, however, I found one online shop selling the C-cell coil. I don't know why they don't sell the mod, but they're selling the coils. The C-cell stock coils apparently is also compatible with other tanks as well. If you go onto their website, you can check it out. It's very Zor of a Verizor, uh, if that's how you pronounce it, but again, links below. Verizor from Malaysia. They're retailing the C-cell coils, the 24-carat uh, gold-plated C-cell uh, coils for stainless steel 316L for nickel and also for canthal wire. For canthal, it's rated at 0.9 ohms, stainless steel at 0.5 and the nickel coils at 0.2 and they're retailing the coils for 11 ringgit each coil. You can buy them one, two, three or in a pack of five. So it's up to you, okay? Like I said, I will leave a link below you can go check them out to sum it all up 
this is a kit that's really worth taking a look at if you're looking for something different you know from your usual square box mods like that you want one that looks like a joystick and it's really nice to hold you know ergonomically this is great okay and if you want something different conversational piece as well people will definitely notice it and talk about it well this is something to look into and it's got everything for what you're paying for i mean it's a firmware upgradable you can do self customization different types of temperature wires and all that uh, compatible for it to me, I think that's two thumbs up and a bang for your buck. So the Target Pro starter kit. I'm sure you can get just the mod if you don't want a tank as well. But even with a tank, it works great. All right. So one more vape, we'll call this a wrap. To me, this is really awesome. Wow. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you guys for your time. Until I talk to you again, until the next one, God bless and bye for now.